What's up guys, Johnny here, back with more Shadowgun Legends. Today, a stream recap from Madstream47. I don't usually do Madstream recaps. I don't think I want to start doing it. But today was special because there was a lot of information about the upcoming update, the upcoming event. So I wanted to do a recap for you guys and talk a little bit more about some of the stuff that was said today. So on the first part of the stream today, there was Sebastian back on the mad stream. Sebastian is the game master. He's in charge of the Genesis system events. And he was on stream today to talk about the winter event mostly. So he did confirm the winter event is a PVE event. He confirmed it's going to start next Monday. But he added that this event will be very long. It will last until the first week of January. So this is a very long event. Probably the longest event we ever had. So PvE event means it's gonna hurt the PvP a little bit. Some guys are not so happy about that because when there's a PvE event going on, there's much less action in the PvP. So it's gonna be rough on the matchmaking, of course. But I think the timing is right because since we're gonna have the Hive Mind dungeon back, it was gonna hurt PvP anyways, at this time at least. So I think the timing is good. So Sebastian said again it was revealed last match stream we'll get a new hub for the winter event. Uh, they shown at least three screenshots I can remember. Uh, this is one of them. They said there will be stuff to look for, some funny jokes, uh, Easter eggs and stuff like that. Uh, Yakub also said you can look at the screenshots and maybe you'll see some of the new gear, some of the new weapons and maybe more. What I can see right here over my head is the new uh, Dread hat. You know, they already said there was going to be uh, some torment gear. So that is one of the cosmetics they talk about previously. Uh, we also see the Santa hat with the, the big beard. But the gift box also, no idea what that is. But I think we'll be able to buy boxes this time. I'm not sure guys. We will see. And this is the last screenshot. You see right there the full uh, new cosmetic set with the hat. Uh, you see again on the other side uh, the dread hat. Uh, some new weapons. If you uh, look around you'll see some details. The big Christmas trees, we see some snowman. So looking forward to the new event. Right before leaving, Sebastian says we'll get four new weapons on the winter event. And he said he reconfirmed the Nebula shotgun, we already knew. But there will be three more weapons. Seems like we have an AR, sniper and machine gun. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but really looks like AR, sniper, machine gun. Uh, Christmas design, snowflakes and stuff, uh, bells. Uh, but probably I'll have more details tomorrow, usually on Fridays I have the event details so we will see tomorrow if I have more about these new weapons. But first time revealed on today's mad stream, uh, looking pretty good guys. Now last thing he said is even though it's a PvE event, PvP players will still have something to look for and he confirmed once again that the middle weapon is the Faraday Accelerator from the Nitro shop. So whatever happens, people will still be farming these war coins. To get the faraday accelerator now talking about the faraday accelerator they revealed the first gameplay video today um, on the shadow gun facebook page i will let this video run at the end again so you guys can take a closer look but faraday accelerator looks pretty good uh slow fire rate compared to nico a bit more damage uh, but it does look pretty good and it will be easy to get you don't need to be lucky you just need to play pvp get the points and buy it in the shot which is pretty cool now the second guest on the mass stream was Scotty aka the birthday boy. They answered a bunch of questions. They had like 14 pages of questions. I'm not gonna go over all the questions but a couple things that really uh, thought was interesting. Uh, the shop at Big Red. Guys if you missed that uh, realized a couple days ago all the servers there's a lot of servers and by the way congrats to Indian players you now have your server so uh zombie girls no more hyping problem solved but if you look at the shops on all servers big red and willow and pedro and the uh, nitro shop they all have the same stuff except one server if you go on russia west the russian server if you go at big red and willows they have different items okay different from all other servers and they seem to have very good items. A couple days ago there was crit pants and then the next day there was a triple hp chest and then at Willows, there was a crazy good perks um, on a Pyro Spirit SMG. Uh, and then there was Damage Gloves. So I did ask, okay, what's going on? Why in hell the Russia server has different stuff? And Jakub answered. 
He said they're experimenting something. They're uh, doing some tests on the Russia server. And depending on the results, they'll probably implement that thing uh, across all servers. Now, they didn't give a lot of information that was not clear, but they are testing something, okay? And um, I'm thinking they're testing something about the perk generation uh, or the RNG on the perks rolls. So maybe they're gonna have a higher chance at purple perks. Um, not sure, but give it a couple days and probably we'll find out. So maybe they're trying something and see if players will be acting differently, spending more money or I don't know, but we will see very soon, I think. And then they went in the winter hub again and went to the shop. I'll show some cool stuff in a couple of seconds, but one more question uh, about the Shadowgun War Games because people ask again, what's going on with War Games? They don't want to talk too much, but he said one thing. He said after next week or at the end of this week, they will be allowed more resource in the Shadowgun War Games development. So that means some people that are working on other games will be working on War Games now. Uh, starting next week so because of that uh, things will start happening a little bit faster that's what i understood from today's stream uh, when they talk about war games now after that he went into the shop started clicking on stuff and he actually revealed the price of the necrotic hunter bundle it contains the full set with the hat for 2200 gold now i don't know if the price will stay the same when the update drops but for now 2200 gold seems legit uh, you can also buy the, the hat separately, and it seems different. The hat in the bundle seems to have a, a black front, but the hat uh, that you can buy separately seems to be blue in the front. So we'll see later if it's exactly that or something else. You also see the Santa mask. It's called Kringle Hat. It is 600 gold. Now, he went into his inventory and started clicking on all the legendaries. They're all 270 power, so we finally have the stats on all the new legendaries at 270 power. 844 damage the nebula shotgun we were wondering because on the videos the gameplay videos it was a low level so we didn't know the stats but you can see the stats here on the nebula now the stats on the adestus legendary auto rifle now there is the cryonic scream sniper rifle and then the faraday accelerator the new auto rifle from nitro shop so we did see the stats on the four revealed legendaries and we even see in the inventory he did not click on it but we see the fifth legendary and people ask why I say the fifth legendary because it was hinted that probably we'll have another legendary reward from the Slade's quest. They said something legendary, but they didn't say a weapon. Now you see a weapon there. It's a legendary weapon. It seems like another auto rifle and he didn't click on it. So we don't know the name. We don't know the stats. We know nothing, but we can take a little look at it at least. Uh, and gives you an idea but we'll know soon very very soon when the update drops could be tomorrow could be monday we'll see now final part of the mad stream there was another guest it's chris it's a new member of the mfg staff and it's gonna be the new community guy he's gonna be the guy uh, on the social medias listening to the community taking the feedback and uh having a, an ear on what's going on uh, in the Shadowgun community, you know, it's gonna be all over the place, probably Facebook, Discord, Reddit, you know, uh, where people can actually uh, give feedback, you know, say what they like, say what they don't like, say what they want to change in the game. And this is gonna be uh, the guy, uh, he's gonna be our voice, and he's gonna take the feedback and bring it to Madfinger Games, you know. And that will be it for today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Leave a like if you did. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more Shadowgun Legends news, gameplay, and guides. I will be back soon. Till then, watch my other videos. Take care.